Crime Talk, hello again. Today's case is coming from Newfoundland and it's probably one of my highest requested cases. And one of my first requested cases on my first Crime Talk video. This is 38 year old Jennifer Hillier Penny and she vanished from her ex-husband's house on November 30th, 2016. This one's just, ah! So here's what went down. On the night of November 30th, Jennifer's ex-husband was about 45 minutes away at his cabin duck hunting. So Jennifer went over to his house to look after the younger of their teenage daughters. Jennifer had a headache, ran a hot bath, texted her younger daughter, Dina, who was out with friends to be home by 9.30 and call if she needed a ride. So Dina actually comes in late past curfew. So she doesn't wake her mom up or talk to her mom or anything like that. The next morning, December 1st, Dina is awoken by Jennifer's alarm. Dina gets up and her mom isn't there. Jennifer's not there, but everything else of hers is. Cell phone, wallet, purse, car was still there. I read the keys were in the ignition and the bath still had water in it. So what happened? Jennifer vanished and it took a week for the RCMP to even label her disappearance as suspicious and it also took them a week to get out to the house she was last seen in. Seven days is a long time. So Jennifer had recently separated from her ex and moved in to her father's house. She was planning on moving out of town and starting a whole new life. Jennifer's older daughter Marina states that her mother was scared of her father. But because Jennifer wanted to keep things peaceful for the sake of her children, she never reported anything to the police, so there was absolutely no file. And I think the fact that there was no file on their marriage or on the ex-husband or whatever is a big reason he was not ever labeled a suspect. There have been no suspects named in the disappearance of Jennifer. There have been multiple air, ground, and water searches performed, and nothing has come up. Why is the spouse always questioned first, except for in this case? Jennifer's older daughter, Marina, said that there's surveillance footage of her father driving by a gas station. And the younger daughter, Dina, also remembers seeing her father in the garage that night, but he said he forgot some stuff for hunting. A 45 minute drive is not that long. It's an okay alibi, but just a little suspicious. But no evidence, no charges. There is not a shred of evidence in this case. I'm curious to know what you guys think.